and now I want to hear the rumble. So let's try to reach warp speed. Support mode. Hello guys, welcome to Mercedes King. This is a 2700 kilogram EQC beast on monster wheels. In this video, I will show you the complete exterior, interior, and we'll take it for a drive off road. And I will show you the amazing characteristics because now Mercedes-Benz also develops the sound for electric vehicles. I will show you that later on with the standard EQC which has the newest sound integration but it is still in development. Here you can see it has the carbon fiber caps on the side mirrors and the AMG brake discs. And you can see this EQC is 20 centimeters larger and also 20 centimeters wider because of the large white wheel archers. From the front of the EQC you can notice this design which we already saw two years ago. It has this headlight LED which moves all the way along the front. And the same design you can see here in the tail lights all the way alongside the rear. So guys make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you about all new Mercedes-Benz vehicles. And what Mercedes-Benz has done with this off-road EQC is that they made a concept with the standard EQC characteristics. So the drivetrain, the gearbox and the engine, everything is stock. The only thing that Mercedes-Benz has changed are the wheels of course, the wishbones which is the connection and also the Porto XO gearbox inside the wheels. And you can notice, of course, that the wheel arches are very wide. The total width of this EQC has increased with 20 centimeters, as well for the height. Also 20 centimeters higher. I love this matte gray exterior color. And it has a running board with a 4x4 squared emblem, the lettering on the side. And this all together makes this EQC a very aggressive vehicle. We already know that this is fully electric and the battery is actually all the way to the lower part of this vehicle which makes the center of gravity very low and I will show you this in the clip coming up next which shows you the transparent EQC. Let's go! So right now we are at Mercedes-Benz test facility at Immendingen where Mercedes tests all their vehicles and right here we have an EQC and this is completely glossed transparent so you can see how the technology works and in my hand I have this iPad the tablet and let's go to the left because you will see a digital EQC standing in front of us so right now I can also press this button and then you can see the wall powertrain the two engines one in the front and one in the rear amazing to see so if I press the lower one it will give me some information this is the battery 80 kilowatt hour and moving a little bit more forward you can see the charging point the EQC again and the transparent with the cables connecting to the powertrain the two motors, one in the rear and one in the front. So if I press on the rear motor, it says it has a power output of 408 horsepower. And it is equally weighted, so both are around 200 horsepower together 408. But now let's check out the interior of this actual EQC standing right here, which is transparent. A lovely interior 
Mercedes-Benz quality. And the steering wheel is also popped out and it has a gorgeous wood trim. But check out the seats, how all the cables are connected with the battery very low to the ground. So the center of gravity is very low. And that is also what you could see of the off-road driving. We really had a very deep angle when we had this EQC on the side. So including this sound for EVs, Mercedes-Benz has taken advantage of it to make this car alive. Let's unlock it and listen to the sound. It sounds as if it's alive, like a UFO sportive spaceship. The sporty sound sounds like this, locking the EQC. Let's unlock it again. And Mercedes-Benz also implemented it on the charging possibilities. So let's open it. I will get the charger. I will take the cap off. Let's charge it and listen. Right now it is connected and it tells me with LEDs how much it is charged but also with the sound. And this melody you will get used to once you own this vehicle but it tells you it is somewhere in the middle the charging and it also has different sounds for example when it is completely full or empty. So I will put on the mask because we are co-driving in this EQC and we will experience the sound. Let's go. Hi Thomas. Hi, so welcome to our sound experience car. Thank you. Um, we're sitting in a demonstration vehicle. In this car we want to explain how the sound um, is good for interacting with the car and the car starts talking to you. The most obvious thing is when I start the powertrain you usually don't notice it. Um, right here I can start um, and I get a sound and uh, get notified that the car has been switched on. And I also hear kind of slightly idle layer which is switch on um, the very first time when I um, switch on uh, the car just because most people forget when they've switched on the car doing something else in the back and then trying to drive oh did I switch it on or didn't I do so so um, yeah with that acoustic feedback you get information about the state of the car yeah exactly I will just quickly buckle up yeah <laughs> yes so let's head for a test drive <laughs> let's go Right now, as I said, we are driving in, uh, in the comfort program, in the C mode, so the car stays very comfortable. We don't hear anything. Although the soundscape is switched on uh, for Mercedes, we like to keep um, the sound very silent and very comfortable. That's a very important issue for us. And <laughs> that's also the thing which makes it, makes it quite hard to um, argument why we need a synthetic sound, a dr synthetic driving sound in the car. When I accelerate on the streets and you know in electric cars you have a really enormous acceleration it's just more emotional if you really can feel that so even in C mode the system is switched on I can um, accelerate with 20% 50% and you don't hear something but when I really push the throttle yeah, <laughs> you get a sound um, a sound feedback which is quite intuitive but if I use the uh, driving program switch and go to DS mode. Yeah, you get a you get a switch, um, switching sound, and the sound becomes much more agile. Um, you really see on on 10% when I push the throttle right yeah. slightly, um, you hear. It will have a big sound, and we also did a sound uh, for that. I'll switch to that. We are still in S mode. So you really hear we are, have arrived in the Star Wars future. <laughs> <laughs> and it even has recuperation. Oh. So also um, you get much more information via the sound. And it's quite um, playful. Um, it's dependent on very much um, even here when you're on, on full yeah. power mode it's um, important for us 
um, in, the, um, in the demo vehicle to exaggerate a little bit because then you get real impressions from the people what they what they think about that and, and can tell you a little bit about it. Overtake. And you have a lot of power in this car and now you really hear that. Yeah. Right? And more classical sound because we also know that some um, drivers might come from the from the combustion engine they are missing it a little bit and they want to have those those powerful feelings um, coupled to that so we also did the sound um, for that um, I'll switch to sport mode again yeah and you hear the rumbling um, And now we are back to the EQC on stilts, the 4x4 squared. And this is just amazing with these very thick, massive tires. So before we take it for a drive, we will just consider that this is 2700 kilograms, which is only 100 kilograms more heavier than the stock EQC. And because of this engine, the battery, which is so powerful, it has no problem taking this 4x4 on top of the mountains it has 408 horsepower so I will just go and park this EQC 4x4 squared and we will first listen to the sound while driving the standard EQC because Mercedes-Benz has developed a new sound system but of course it is still a concept so you can still write in the comments what you would prefer as a sound you can make it more aggressive sporty or more UFO like so let me know in the comment section below after watching the clip. Let's press the button for the electronics to work. And this is all the standard EQC powertrain. The engine has started and you can hear this sound which is integrated, the idle. Responsiveness of the pedal is also reduced, right? Yes, especially for off-road. Yeah. Because normally it would be too aggressive otherwise.
So guys, thanks for watching Mersbens King. I hope you like this video with the EQC 4x4 squared. And as you can see, it is clean again. Yes, it takes some time to clean this car after the muddy roads. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.